Hi, this is Mark at LearnHowToGarden.com and in this second of our talks about wintergreens we're going to focus on probably what is the biggest sort of wintergreen that most of us have which is cabbage. And cabbage and savoy cabbage which is the dark green sort of slightly wrinkly one are one of those things that really can benefit from being planted closer together. As I said you don't want something that's this round. I mean if you go to your local agricultural show in the summer you will see cabbages the size you can't believe you know giant cabbages and all of that and what's the point you know unless you're feeding a school they're just too big i prefer to try and grow things that you can eat all of it at one go at one sitting so we're actually going to place our cabbages in a small row and we're actually only going to put <coughs> about six inches between each cabbage and the thing about optimum spacing is that if you plant anything and give it as much room as possible, it will obviously get really, really big. If you plant things so close together they can't get enough nutrients or space to grow, you won't get a viable crop. And optimum spacing is trying to give it just enough room to give you the size of crop that you want from it. And for me, with just, you know, a few of the boys still at home most of the time, we find that six inches gives us about the right size cabbage for an average family of four people. So that's what we're going to do. So on this bed, we're actually going to get about five across and then we'll come in six inches and we'll put another three. These are some of our lettuce that is growing for later in the year. So we're leaving those. What is on my left here, this wonderful creature, is the lettuce going to seed. And the reason I've left this lettuce going to seed is two reasons. One is to show you what will happen if uh, your bed becomes dry or you have an odd summer. And two, I just love it. I think the architecture of this is astounding. I mean, I would just think as a plant in its own right, forget the fact I can no longer eat it. It just looks great sitting there. I don't need that space at the moment. So we're just gonna leave it. But back to the cabbage, because that's important. So our cabbage plants literally are going to be that close together and when they grow they'll touch they'll physically touch each other and that's really important and that you know that spacing will give us really small usable cabbages so as we can see they're much closer together than you would think possible but this does give you it means that this amount of space will give you a nice compact head on your cabbage. You'll be able to eat it all in one go. And it also means that you don't have lots and lots of waste, you know. And they're very greedy, but I have found in a no-dig bed, there's so much goodness in here that we really don't have to sort of put lots and lots of grow more or artificial fertilizers on. Although again, we will water in with a very weak seaweed uh, feed. So that's the second, that's cabbage, you know. You can grow red cabbage. I don't, I'm not particularly keen on the taste, but a red cabbage would work brilliantly again in your flower border, wouldn't it? Gives you a bit more color, not quite as architectural as the kale. In fact, nowhere near as architectural as your kale, but a really good winter standby. And again, will taste very, very different. The bigger ones, remember I said some were further forward and behind, those we'll be putting in the allotment because obviously if you've got some further forward and some smaller ones, if you put them next to each other, the ones that are further forward will just force the smaller ones out. This really only works if you use the same size plants, but they will stand quite happily. They won't bolt or shoot to seed very quickly. It's the middle of the winter, so they will stand quite well for quite a long time. So it gives you that option, you know, you can sort of get ones at different times by putting them in the pots and letting them get bigger or you can plant them very close together like this and that will mean that you're controlling the size by the optimum spacing. I mean I use both methods because I'm fortunate that I've got enough space. I hope that uh, makes some sense to you. I think it made some sense to me. It's been working for me for the past 25 years so it must have somewhere and uh, that's Mark at Learn Had a Garden saying. Catch the next one. In the next video, we're going to be talking about my favourite of all winter veg, which is Brussels sprouts.